welcome to another photo critique. I'm here with a photo from Greer Brooks called a pheasant feather headdress. What can I say? It's a great shot. I love the fact that it's shot from the side like this. Um, I actually kind of like that you've cropped his head off as well. It kind of shows that this is not the important part of the photo. What is, of course, is the headdress itself. What we're looking at is a vibrant shot that doesn't have an awful lot of tones in it. I mean, uh, just over on the side here, we have a little bit of blue. Um, the rest is pretty much the same color as his skin. You've got the, 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 the brownish reds here, you've got the brownish reds up here, and the slight, um, again, brownish colors here. Um, it works really well, I think, but it does make the photo a little bit um, singular in colors. Um, that does make for a very good, um, like a mood image. Imagine you have this on a wall in, in a room where um, that is already the prevalent color. Um, and if that's used, then that works really well. However, standing on its own, I almost think this is a little bit on the boring side, to be honest. It's got, um, it's got a lot of color, but it doesn't really do it for me. Um, if you have a quick look at this in black and white, if you lose the colors altogether, you get a little bit more um, monochromatic about it, um, which actually sort of works in this photo because it was already quite monochromatic, but now you're not, you're not getting distracted by, um, by the colors. Uh, I mean, obviously, if you look at it in black and white, you would probably have to um, ramp... There you go. You'd have to ramp it up a little bit, but you get a much more impactful photo. Right, um, the other thing I'm struggling with a little bit here is the quite a lot of digital artifacts, which is probably just a, an effect of um, flicker co recompressing the image. But the other thing we get is that just around the feathers here, we have this really weird line around it, as if the photographer is trying to um, over sharpen the image a little bit. I don't really get that because if you look at the rest of the feathers, it doesn't have as much details as you expect for an image that's been sharpened this much. It's as if You've run a um, noise reduction filter and then run a sharpening filter afterwards, which means that the sharpening filter doesn't have anything to work with, um, which, which leads to this really weird effect of, um, of having sharp bits that have been sharpened from data that wasn't there. I don't know if this is because the image was slightly out of focus. If we have a quick look, uh, it was shot at f4. Um, so maybe, you know, it was ever so slightly out of focus, but then when you look at his skin here, you can see that there is quite a lot of detail. Um, there's a little bit of fringing around the front here as well. But I mean, if we look at it in 100%, it, there, it isn't too bad. And um, of course, I'm looking at a much higher resolution, much more up close than what you would expect for, for a normal viewing of this image. If you look at it at the size it was intended to, like a computer screen, it looks really good. I would take a closer look at this. I'm not entirely sure about the idea of cropping the feathers off altogether, but then that is the key part of the image, and I don't really think it, it would be enriched all that much. If we assume that all the feathers are of the same length, then you get a very weird shaped image if you don't crop in on it. So I can't really fault you for that one. Um, the other thing I would have a qu quick look at, if you can, is the horizon or whatever you have running right in front of his nose here. If you look at it in black and white, it becomes a little bit clearer. Um, if you see, oopsie, that's, oops, I lost it then. If you look at it in black and white, it becomes a little bit clearer. You see there's like a darker ridge here. Um, I would probably just edit that out. It doesn't add much to the image. I think this picture has a lot of impact and a lot of potential. Um, the only thing I would take a look at is maybe, maybe you could consider showing this off um, as more of a set. So show it with other photos from the same trip. When seen in context, maybe you get even more out of this particular photo. It's a great start. Um, I would take a closer look at the sharpening or desharpening artifacts or whatever has happened there, and do consider uh, having a closer look at it in black and white. Right, thank you very much for submitting your photo for critique, and I hope this has been useful. Cheers, bye.